What's up, guys? This is um an unboxing of uh, X Force trading card from '91. It says it has an autograph. I haven't seen one of them in the, this series before. This is that old school trading cards that uh, Marvel put out. Now they almost look similar. I know X Men has one that looks like it too. And uh, I think Punisher, I can't remember. Well, I'll go ahead and open it. Short series 90, 90 card set. So, hopefully, I'll be able to get a full set out in this. Go ahead and open the first pack, see how it looks. Comics from Range of New Mutants to X Force. This pretty much follows the comics also. Hmm. That was gonna be like that nylon pack from the old from the old um, trading cards. It opens pretty good. First pack. Vulture from Spider-Man. Interesting that he's in the X-Force. Those Wolverine and Cable. Hmm, looks like Storm. You'll be able to see a couple of uh, X Men. And there's Deadpool. Another Vulture. Okay. Let's try to open this pack neatly. If I can. Not like some people just rip through the whole entire pack. Wow. Uh, this is going to be one of those type of packs. Beast. Prison. See, I think this is like the Marvel Universe style. I'm gonna see it's gonna be repeated. There you go. See? I don't know why, it's like the assembly line is like, they just like pre-pack, you know, certain ways of doing it. It's like every, it's not really random, because like they have a set, a set set, and just put it in the pack. Crap. I'm 
Or the Marvel Universe packs were like that, and I just got like a bunch of them. Mystique. Scroll. Breakout, Feral, X Force. It's a short set, 90, but I don't know. I'm hoping I get the whole set and at least some um, chase cards. Crap. Misty, Heroes Fall, Scroll, Sleep. Looks like straight out of the comic. Remember when these came out, I wasn't very fond of X Force. I pretty much followed mostly all X Men back in the days, or anything X Men. I saw X Force like a half ass wannabe X Men. And then later on, I started reading into the whole, you know, storyline and all the continuation of the of the stories of the between X Men. That um, X Force is pretty much a, is a repeat set. X Force pretty much is a vital vital story for the X Men continue continuity. You know, and then you have Cable's origin, which is um, Scott and Jean's son. And he's like in the film the future, just like Bishop. And Cable does make appearances in the X-Men series. Especially Uncanny X-Men comics, if you ever read those. Pretty good, that's a original story of the X-Men. And then you have the X-Men comic book, which is about the separation of the X-Men between Blue Team and Gold Team. series. This also features Cable and it shows the first appearance of appearance of Deadpool himself in the New Act New Mutants. Hopefully I don't get too much repeat, but it's looking almost impossible now. Got Gambit. Revenge. Sunfire. He's from Japan. He's uh, one of Wolverine's friends over there. Domino, another important character. The arc 
archangel not blob currently I'm still reading now um so it's a pretty good mini series which is a uh, X Men X Men ninety two which is like a weird spin off of this trying to you know follow through what the T V series was using those characters and it's about a great war the secret wars started off as secret wars that they have that they fought with Magneto and a couple of guys and little Magneto actually died and Apocalypse died and now the X-Men live in a world where they accept mutants and they see the X-Men as a uh, heroes sort of, so to speak and they're praised upon and kids love them and they look up to them so it's kind of weird you know it's like they're openly you know accepted which is pretty strange but of course they still go through stuff sentinels randomly attack them People, you know, program to send, still send for mutants. But it's a pretty cool comic. You know, the artwork is very... I don't want to say cartoonish, but not too much. But it's an interesting read. They actually, they finished... Um, the first series and then the second series with issue six right now. Seven's coming out soon. So monthly issues. But I'm really liking that one, so I'm caught up to date with that one. A lot of repeats. Another good mini series was really short, it's only like I think it's five or six issues. It's pretty has a spin off too, it's called the the worst X Men ever. And it's about this kid that has a uh, mutant powers. You know, he was, he was excited, he wanted to be a mutant and all this, he dreamed about being a mutant. And then the day that he finds out that he is a mutant, finds out that he has one of the worst powers ever. Which is the power to make himself explode. But from making himself explode, he also dies. So it's pretty much a pointless power unless you want to kill yourself. So he's all bummed out about it, and then um, Professor X, well, he stabbed Magneto. I don't want to be Magneto. So Professor X takes him in, so he can learn how to sort of like not use his power, but suppress his power, so he knows when to when, you know, when he's not able to use it. Because imagine, you're just there eating lunch, and all of a sudden, boom, he blows up. He's pretty much scarred. So everybody's scared of him now. And actually, um... I'm trying to remember his name. Forge made a suit for him. So he'd be able to actually fight in combat with the, his fellow X-Men. Which is pretty cool. And also, he's just a teenager, so you know how, kind of like Jubilee, how he, how she was, always wants to go into fights when they know she wasn't ready.
almost done halfway. Safer tooth, Wolverine. Funny back to back. Sorry about that, I had to adjust the camera. So I noticed it started tilting down. I have a cheap mock up camera that mocks up the, the phone and it tends to lean forward at times. Not that great, but for the first time, it's better than nothing. Hopefully, this channel will get better and then I could, you know. Proceed into buying better equipment. So until then, this is what I get, what I have. Beast again. Right. No chase car slash. Autographs yet. Big bum down still. Four or five times already. Bold stick. to readjust my camera again. Don't know signature. 